about, you know, like a door a minute if I can. That's how determined this Republican volunteer is to rally Trump supporters. You're Republican, so you're John Lombardo campaigns door to door in Pennsylvania, an old fashioned approach with a modern twist. He uses an app that crunches data to tell him whether the home's occupants are hard or weak Republicans or Democrats. Only one in 10 answers the doorbell, but Lombardo says it's still vital. In the run-up to the 2016 presidential election, his team knocked on 50,000 doors, which he firmly believes helped swing this former coal mining county to the Republicans. It really is important. It really is. The voter contact, like the personal contact with each voter is is just as important as, as, as going to a rally or setting up, you know, sending out a, a mass email or something. All 435 seats in the House of Representatives are up for grabs, as well as a third of the Senate. The Republicans want to retain their majorities in both, but turnout for midterms is usually low. Only 41 percent of Pennsylvanians voted in the last ones. The question is, lower for which side has the lowest of the low? So it's maintaining enthusiasm for Trump and hoping that it carries over to the, to the other Republican candidates on the ballot because Trump's name isn't on the ballot. Donald Trump's win in 2016 owed much to people who voted for the first time in years. So Lombardo's team is feeling the pressure. They have less than two weeks to persuade them back to the ballot box.